Yo guys, as you know, I enjoy W3 Champions very much, and it has been an incredibly important service to keep Warcraft 3 alive. And I'll very likely, very, very likely continue to play it, uh, probably forever, I want to say. But in the meantime, a hot new competitor has entered the market, Blizzard's own ranked, against all odds, against all expectations. You can now play on Blizzard ranked. And I've played my first five placement games, which you can see in a video that I uploaded here previously. Now it's time to try and turn it up to 11 and try to go a little further. Let's see how close we can get to rank one. As we can see, there's in-game leaderboards finally, and this guy already played 3 million games, as did this guy, the exact same amount. And they won all of them, which is pretty amazing. I hear it's a buffer overflow or underflow. Uh, I don't know exactly none about that. I ain't a smart man. So probably a display bug. I don't think it's really that many games. But we're going to be earning real portrait points for our new profile. We're going to be uh, able to yeah, get some new icons. And we'll try to get as far as we can. Note that besides these reforged portraits that you can uh, pick based on the amount of wins you have on actual Bnet, there's also the classic portraits now that you can use instead. Like the classic torrent, for instance. Or some of these. And these are the classic plus icons that I previously showed you via the witty video. So these are not the old school tiny pixelated 64 by 64. Uh, but they are a faithful recreation of those portraits, those silhouettes. And finally, uh, we have those as an alternative. So that's really cool. So I am going to be picking the classic portrait, the torrent. I'll be earning my way to classic Farseer. And without further ado, let's begin and start our first non-placement orc game on the Bnet ladder. We are in an orc versus human. Now, I don't know if W3 booster is going to be working, but at the very least, the timer is working. So that's nice. We see the game time in the bottom right. Ah, and the booster is working as well. Excellent. So I know it's called booster, but it doesn't actually, you know, give a boost. It's, it boosts your stream, essentially. So you guys can see who I'm against. Though it doesn't seem to be showing our records yet. It could be because we're both... No, actually, it may just not be tracking our record yet for, uh, for Bnet. Maybe something the developer has to look into. I'll make a note to contact him. Apparently, if I don't do it, nobody does. Uh, scores Bnet. Okay, let's open up with Blademaster. We recently lost the best of five to Hipposaurier. Where we won two with Blade, lost two with Farseer, and then won the conclusive game with Blademaster. Perhaps it's time to further embrace my roots of when I used to play a lot of Blademaster. Let's do that. I'll send the peon scout to check if he's going to fast creep the mercenary camp. There's a couple of things human can do on this map. Essentially, uh, let's classify it as four things. The classic vanilla early creep camp with four militia. Then there's the kind of racy footman pool on the mer camp, where they pull five militia and fast creep the mercenary camp. Then there is the rather unexpected and risky militia creep off the goblin shop. Not really good against Farseer harass, because it's on a direct crash course with the Farseer's walking path to the human base. And then there's the... Oh my god, he's crazy, he's doing the laboratory first. I don't really expect that. But I guess you could do it. Either with Mountain King first or Archmage first. Gonna be grabbing some items from the shop and immediately run towards him. Picking up a lot of money in items. Gonna go for tier 2. Thanks for the sub, King Ryan James. And he hasn't started creeping uh, as of yet. So maybe he's doing the Goblin Shop? Oh, it's Paladin Rifleman. Okay. Interesting. That uh, calls for a bit of a different approach. I think that's really interesting to show because this is one of the archetypes of uh, human builds that can be quite strong against orc and undead in particular thanks for the sub Do dog dota player oh he's got that surround thing going 
Not the worst for me. Let's put this peon somewhere where I may see him leave his base. He knows he can finish this off before I get there. That's the circlet. So, what do you do against Pala rifles when you are on Blood uh, on Blade Master first? Well, you harass. This guy isn't bad so far, from what I can tell. Uh, this is weakest against hit and run, basically. You want to delay their creeping? So whether you have a Farseer or a Blade Master, you want to delay their creeping as much as possible. So small health bars, right? Oh, we can use our Peon to harass his Paladin further. And then you want to kind of play into hit and run. So I'll be going TC second with some raiders he was he was quite good he understood how to try and break free uh from surround uh from uh, blocks he showed a good mastery of uh, Warcraft 3 mechanics. I'm gonna go Raiders and Walkers. With the third barrel. Really? How did that happen? Looks like his battle in his back. And uh, he is not level two because we stole one of the trolls. Oh, that's why. So now he has to wait, probably for a militia again, which will actually dumpster his lumber economy quite a bit. Yeah, you don't actually. You don't actually want to call militia that often with uh, Pala rifle. took accuracy oh my god he didn't even cancel ourselves no, la, 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 la. epic music after true shot got stolen He doesn't have enough mana to siphon me. Nice. Stole that too. Oh, 
Stole the ogre but didn't quite get the blood mage. Would be funny if we did. It doesn't cancel siphon though. Get 45 defenses now. Oh, he's going on. Oh, I didn't get a shockwave level 2 yet. He's going for Griffins, but he can't really. GG well played. Nice. Oh, the Tauren icon moves along. Nice. Yo, high five. Brun FCK, thanks, dudes. And yeah, we should have given Quartalas to Blade Master faster. So it says I gained 82 MMR and that I'm now 5.708k. Let's check our profile. Let's go, warp one. Number one, let's go. I have been hearing that some people didn't get the correct MMR attribution. It says my highest MMR is 5525, which is certainly strange, considering it says that right now I have 5708. All right, this is uh. As I am 7-0 now on Bnet. I played two placements, got one free win, and then I just won a game against Human. This is my next game in line, in my quest to try and get, or get as close to, rank one on Bnet as possible. We're against Human once again, and we'll be going with Blade Master once again. Mmm, sweet lemonade! I'm gonna be doing something that essentially gives me more tempo and momentum but often doesn't get done because of the slowdown so uh, the slowdown of uh, a little bit so it gives you blade master creeping momentum but it can slow you down if they find it so let's talk about proxy shops creep routes are very important in warcraft 3 and going onto the map as quickly as possible without false moves and backtracking is important so if i were to say get this and then i go here that's a v-shape and that's inefficient if i get this and then go onto the map that is more efficient because it is on rat so if i want to do some harassment on my opponent and i build my shop here it prevents me from having to go back to my base now there are some builds where you open up with a shop that is aligned with your blade master finishing if you do that however 
it does what you have to adapt your build order where it does one of two things it delays your first grunt to come out 20 seconds after your blade master comes out or even 30 seconds or it costs you mm, 20 gold which doesn't seem like a lot but it affects your build order so now the grunt pretty much comes out seconds after blade we can creep the camp together and then as we finish the camp the shop will be there ready and waiting with the downside being that they can just put their scout footy right on top of the shop and kill it slowly and then you have to send a grunt there we find a mantle gonna scout with a grunt now sell tp double heal solve speed scroll second burrow and and that's what that's what you're afraid of right like that's what can happen so now you can check the marketplace we now know gloves that drops here so we know that he crept this one so the marketplace actually gives you info what your opponent crept i didn't get didn't get the uh, uh, creep but did get the item so that's decent take a bit too much damage on the blade the illusion gives vision it shows where the ensnare has been used which allows our grunt to step up and attack his footies ah uh, almost I can't go back in because I'll get ensnared. Now, I, I have been getting boots sometimes. I think it's quite nice. I should have sent a peon to repair quicker. I think we can we can keep it alive. Yeah, just barely. Okay, now we have three grants. But now you see the disadvantage of the shop and the advantage. We were on time to steal the Murloc. We failed the micro on stealing the Murloc. Don't get too busy killing footies. Don't try to find a way into their base or anything like that. That's not important. We killed one footie, it's fine. Instead, finish the camp that they were going for. Now we know this has been crept, this and this has been crept. This has been crept. So they really only have four options. This, this, this and this. Between all of those, some are harder than others. So some are more likely to be his next target. Archmage has finished already, so he must be here. Unless we see him in mid. Now, generally, you should understand that mid will only be crept. Hey, where is he? Mid should only be crept. Did he not remake his Archmage? Oh, he did. Minus 70, kek W. Mid will only be crept by the person that feels they have map control. In this case, that's me. Yes, 
Nice. I had to use the mana pot to get out. Don't need staff of teleport anymore. It was mostly to deny him. Bracers is quite nice. Healing everything. Pull back a bit. Can even do a heal wave. We know we're not going to be topped off without it, so... We know where his Mountain King is. He rebought Archmage. We could just... I don't think he's safe being out here. This is him on uh, triage. Damage control. Cloak actually kind of useful. Actually kind of useful. <laughs> nice. GG.